hey, I want to clarify my position on some things because I think it's worth it. Actually, just on one thing in particular, which is this concept of wrong, of, of right and wrong, that there is a right way to act and a wrong way to act. And when I'm talking about things like this, I enjoy bringing up extreme examples to delve into it because you're not going to get far discussing right and wrong if you're talking about eating a ham sandwich. But when you take it to like sexual abuse or aggression, murder, all of a sudden it starts to seem like, yeah, it's wrong. Physical aggression of any kind is wrong. So it seems. And yet we do it. What is this war in Iraq? All of a sudden, murder is not wrong now. The government says it's not wrong, and it's not wrong. The government says it's wrong, and that it is wrong. What does this word wrong even mean anymore? It's subjective. One man's wrong is another man's right. And I agree that when, you know children don't understand sex so if, if an adult was to have sex with a child it would be destructive for that child because it wouldn't understand what's going on at least not in the society that I was raised in my understanding of it I wouldn't have understood it I was just kind of getting to understand it by the time I was like 11 or 12 but like, I don't know, if I'm thinking like if a child was raised in a sexual society, if everybody was all sexual all the time, that like, what's this concept of wrong all of a sudden? I feel like when someone's a criminal and someone's done something that breaks the law or violates morality and is locked away or is lambasted by the public for it, that the reason that the crime itself keeps happening is because people feel like it's so taboo that they have to just say it's wrong and shut it out. It's so horrifying for people to think about it that they just want to shut it down with this word and put it away and not think about it and say it's wrong, goodbye. But sorry that's not the way life works. I think that forgiveness is the only way to address any situation. And whether that's someone that's murdered someone, I forgive them. If it's someone that's abused a child, I forgive them. The act itself was an indicator of some sort of disconnect in the mind a misunderstanding. Why would you ever aggress on another person? Except for compensation of some sort or repeating a cycle that you've experienced. But to say that it's wrong and lock it away is the fearful way to go. Don't be afraid of this. Don't unsubscribe to this concept. Listen. Everything is. Nothing is wrong or right. Everything just is. And if we don't accept these things, then they're going to keep happening. So I, I accept that it happens. I'm not afraid of it. I'm not going to do it. We have immense amounts of control, unlimited amounts of control. But when we live in fear of shit, look at the Catholic Church. Living in fear of sex. And look at what's happening to it. Look at what's happening to the people. These old men are around these young kids. And they don't talk about sex. They talk about how it's wrong, how it's bad. They suppress the fuck out of it. And then they end up abusing each other. Or getting, just aggressing on each other. Because they're too afraid to fucking talk about it. So I'm talking about it now. 
because all this shit is going to change. <laughs>